Hiya everyone, it's me. Hope you all been doing good. Today I bring you all something very very special. This is one half of the collab YouTuber and artist The Calvinist Cat and I are making. Be sure to check them out after this one. But yeah, today I'm talking about the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, the best April Fools ever made and one of Cat's favorite Sonic media. But first, let me be annoying for a minute and ask, have you subscribed yet? <laughs> If not, like, what are you waiting for? Because I talk about Sonic the Hedgehog and other stuff sometimes, and sometimes I draw. I don't know if you knew that, but I do sometimes draw. Shocker, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you for the sub. Anyways, on with the video. Ah, uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I really love this game. I totally get why Cat and others love it so much to the extent it's their favorite Sonic media. But yeah, let's talk about that. It was released back in March 31st, 2023, just to concede on April Fools. This game took the fandom and the internet by storm. I remember logging into Twitter and seeing the trailer. I just went, what happened to my boy? And immediately went to Steam to get greeted by the surprise of the game being free. Thank you, Sega. My wallet and I are very grateful. Apart from the collective joy of Sonic dropping another game so quickly, this game also gave us so much pretty art and funny moments, and to be honest, it was just a godsend. We just needed the game where all the characters interact in a more playful way. Also, we had Rouge. Best Sonic girl, don't add me. Back to the more factual part of the video, the murder of Sonic was received with so much praise that Steam's reviews were overwhelmingly positive. So much so that by April 5th, 2023, it was the 61st most downloaded game of all time in Steam. That's actually insane. GG team. And those statistics are accurate for good reason. The game is very well made. From the Dream Gear sections to the dialogue and the sprites, they're all very well done. And the story, while being simple, it has a lot of charm. I never would have thought that for her birthday, Amy would want a murder mystery party. Which is funny, because the more of you think about it, the more sense it makes. Sadly, this story may not be canon, but 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 but... In the Steam page, they reference the tweet from the official Sonic Twitter, which usually makes me so angry because, oh god, if everything is canon, then, does that mean the Archie Ken Penders era of comics are too? That thought makes me shiver. <laughs> but in this case, it actually benefits me. So I consider this a game like semi-canon? Not sure if that's like an actual term, but like, it did happen in canon, but it doesn't really matter to the grand scheme of things. That's what I mean with semi-canon. Huh, that could be considered a spin-off, I guess. Oh well, whatever. Barry is a fun character too, can we talk about them? In my personal hurt canon, Barry is not binary it fits just way too well with the whole self-insert avatar thing, and yeah, granted, that's not canon, but is that gonna stop me? No? Slight parenthesis, this little guy is a microwave expert, and like, oh boy, me too. Making mac and cheese at 3 a.m. in the microwave is fine dining and no one can tell me otherwise. Anyways, back to Barry. Their character design, while simple, is also very charming. The artist just did an amazing job illustrating the silly quokka and everyone else and everything else. Just, it's so good. Which now that we're on the topic, the art for this game is straight up gorgeous. No exaggeration. I just love the halftone texture that the characters have, and I think that the backgrounds also have it? Um, I, I don't quite remember. And you know that when the sprite sheets dropped, I was hoarding them, because, you know, I, I just love all the Sonic artists out there, and this one is no exception. <laughs> um, I really want all of the sprite sheets, so I can study them there and their art a bit, because it's so yummy. Like, some of them, if you pay very close attention, are colored a bit off, like off the line. It, 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 it looks so good. <laughs> it, 
it just astonishes me that it looks so good because how did they know how to do that? I have no idea. This art seriously got me tripping on my words. I tell you, man, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. Though, one complaint, I wish we had some art for silver too. Speaking of which, why isn't silver on the game? Does anyone know that? I've been asking myself while researching for this video. Like, I know Cream and Charmy weren't there because it would be very off for two literal kids playing a murder mystery game out of everything. But it doesn't really make sense that 15 year olds are playing it too, but oh well. Potato, potato. The thing is that, why is Silver not there? He's not that naive, right? It's either that he was too naive and innocent to play, or he was just busy in the future. But I guess it's no use talking about it, isn't it? Now some highlights about my playthrough of uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog were that number one, I totally called who the quote-unquote killer was from the very start. I have never been so right in my life, but the thing is that I totally knew who was the, the murder, which I'm not mentioning because of spoilers and things, but I totally knew it. It was one of the biggest gamer moments I've ever had. Number two, like, Amy in this game is one of my favorite Amy's ever because I, I remember distinctly like the reveal scene of, of Sonic being quote unquote dead and then Amy just goes my darling Sonic is dead and it's so <laughs> it was so funny and sweet this, this game just has a lot of charm and Amy was a big part of it because she totally carried the game in comedy also Shadow, because they're besties and no one can tell me otherwise. The characters in this game just feel so genuine. Like, it's one of the best portrayals of s most of the characters I've seen in a long while. Which, granted, with Sonic Prime it's been a bit, like, oversimplified. But some years ago, if you told me an April Fool's game from Sonic the Hedgehog would be good, I wouldn't have believed you. Number three, even if some people say that the game is bad and too short or something like that, I don't care because this game brought the most important part of the Sonic canon back alive, which is Knuckles' cowboy hat. <laughs> okay, so Sonic Ova. That movie has a very special place in my heart. Like, Knuckles' hat was my whole soul. And I don't know why they took it away. I love that hat with all my heart. And the fact that it's back in Speed Battle and now in this game makes me so happy. Unbelievably happy. I think it's gonna be back on the Knuckle series, which, side note, it comes out on my birthday. Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> but yeah, Knuckles' hat has been coming back a lot and that makes me very happy, so hashtag bring back Knuckles' hat. <laughs> and actually, back to the game being short part, that's a strong point in my opinion, because it makes it more casual, I think that's the word, because I beat it over in one hour and a half, and I think that's a lot because I, I was just clicking away, <laughs> having fun, interacting with the characters, and it was very funny. But the thing is that it makes it more accessible for newer fans and that is a good thing in my opinion. And lastly, like the fact that this is an April Fool's joke just makes it even better in my opinion. <laughs> because GG Sega, like putting effort in a game that is not supposed to be taken seriously, yet you take it seriously, that's, that's incredible. And it shows that the community as a whole just enjoys, like, characters interacting. It, it's just very casual and pretty neat. And I think I'm rambling a bit. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just stop myself there before I go on a tangent. Because y'all know how I love going on tangents. Once again, thank you, Kat, for reaching out and making a collab with me. This has been very, very fun. 
And speaking about Sonic the Hedgehog is always such a therapy to me, so thank you. And thank you, viewer, for watching till the end. Also, be sure to check out Kat's video on their channel. They're talking about IDW Sonic, which is my favorite Sonic media. And, well, you can see why. <laughs> I, lo I just love art from the franchise and IDW Sonic is always pumping out these amazing stories with my ca favorite characters and it just makes sense, okay? <laughs> but yeah, TLDR, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog is very good, common knowledge. But yeah, without much left to say, I have been Akarisan. see you on the flip side. Keep drawing a stair rad. Bye bye! <laughs>